This video is on how to shoot in a project or localize it. So I've got my base station set up right here. I've got it set up there and I need to localize this job that we are doing here. And how do, how do I do that? Well, how do I go about doing that? So you're gonna take papers from the surveyor. The surveyor is going to give you some papers, okay? And this paper, for instance, let me show it to you here. going to have either a map with going to have a map with your if I can get that camera to zoom in on there with your control points and where they're at usually okay so right here I have my control point number which is 311 I have my elevation and it's going to tell you CP which means control point it's in a mag I got my northings at the top there I got my eastings okay so how do I go about putting that into the system and how do I go about shooting that in? So this is where I'm going to teach you. So if you go into data and you're going to go into control points, okay, you're going to select control points, okay, in here. So to make this easy, you got to set up a base station, okay. If you're running any kind of dozers or anything on GPS, any machines, you're going to need to set up a base station. So you want to go into edit so like i'll just show you the base you're going to want to go into add it's going to be blank because i have uh control points in here already they're listed so i'm going to go into add and this is where i would name it okay so we're going to look at your paper and it's going to be you know, look at your paper and you see it's 11 okay 311 so this is where I would put this in here I do CP CP 311 okay I hit OK so that's CP 311 I'm gonna look at my northings so you're gonna do northings and you're gonna add in your number let's say it's seven five three four eight point nine five seven just the number that the surveyor gives you for that okay this is just an example because i've already got mine in here i'm gonna hit okay and then i'm gonna move to the eastings and do the same right so i'm gonna put in just a number okay on eastings okay and again this is just for demonstration purposes only that is not what it is okay and then i'm gonna put in the elevation now because of the base it has to be zero 100% of the time because I'm setting up a base okay or a control point or whatever you're gonna set your elevations whatever whatever is on this paper the surveyor gives you is what you how you're gonna put it in northings eastings and elevations and then after you can hit ok so let's look at one that I've already done so let's start with the base I always enter in the base first now that's extremely important because when they get ready to set this up if you guys aren't very uh, knowledgeable with this system it's going to pop up the very first one and i like to select the base so i do it first and i think that's important and usually when you're doing that is wherever you put your base pole and you can see my I think my phone to focus here anyways my my base pole is right there and i've got a control point down this corner so on this map here that i'm showing I got four control points and I like to set mine on the control point, the nearest control point. Now it doesn't have to actually be the control point. You see that one there. So on my base, I select base here and this is just to show you the examples of how they're done. You go to edit. Okay. So right here you can see my elevation is zero. That is extremely important for your base height is always zero. Okay, I like doing them that way anyways. Okay, so okay, and we're going to look at just a control point here that actually has an elevation. So this is the numbers for the localization that the your surveyor is going to give you. And this is where you enter it, okay. So we hit okay, hit okay. All right, so now I'm going to go about setting up my base station. Okay, so I'm going to go to setup, base station. And this is where you have your base known. It's going to say known control point base. That's because I entered that control point in first as base. So it automatically selects that. So I'm going to go next. And this is where it says base antenna height is zero. That is extremely important. 
because that's exactly what it needs to say is zero on your base. And it's going to show you what type, okay? If this was GR5s, it's going to show you a picture and it shows you how it measures too. Uh, so we have Hyper-V as well, and it'll show you, you need to change this if it is a Hyper-V. You select that and select Hyper-V, and it'll show you the picture of it. Okay, that, that will make a difference as well. So I hit select, next, I can tell you Topcon FH915SS, that's what we're using. Okay, all those are selected, I'm going to hit finish. And now I'm going to pull, it should be finding my base station. I believe my base station is 30. You're going to look for your your serial number on top of your rover or base whatever one you're using okay this one has it right there my rover is 33 and I know that my base is ends in a 30 so I know that this is my base and I'm gonna select it so now it's connecting to GPS it's connecting to my to my base up there okay. so now looking down here so I know my base is set up so you can see because I use that control point down here, it's going to kind of read over it and say base. So I know that that one's my base. Okay. So now I'm going to go into survey. I'm going to go connect. And I'm going to go find because it's not pulling up my, my rover. Okay. And I, okay, now here it comes. It pulls up a few Bluetooth. Okay. I'm a 33. I know is my rover. 33 I'm gonna hit select okay so now it's connecting my base station which is right there by that semi hood the Kenworth hood two antennas to the GPS to my rover okay once it's all green then that's when I'm gonna go shoot in a control point so I'm gonna go down here let's walk over here so once you want to make sure too that that stays green the entire time that you're doing this Okay, now we're gonna go find one of these control points that is set up right here. We're gonna walk down there and go find it. So it should be over there by that dumpster. Okay, let's go find it. Okay, this is gonna be the first one and I'm gonna end it. I'm just gonna show you how to shoot in one project or one, one control point with your, your rover. Let's go over and see it.